What's up guys, CBMod here back with another video and today we take a look at the Animax doorbell camera. Now this doorbell camera today has been provided by Anywhere, a computer accessory distributor, but the thoughts and opinions of what I think about this is all original and totally mine, but if you want to know more, check that description box. But nevertheless, let's jump into this video review. But first off, what exactly is this thing? Well, it's actually a smart peephole doorbell kind of camera, rather than specifically a doorbell unit itself. It doesn't actually ring or have any doorbell function, but it does act as sort of like a peephole type of device, allowing to use your smartphone or even a web connected device to view the camera through the internet connection it does offer. So let's jump into the design department. And in the design department, this guy actually doesn't look half that bad. The inside portion should match most doors here in Australia, thanks to the fact that it has a nice plastic white front face uh, that could easily be also to repainted if your door isn't specifically that color thanks to the fact it just comes off the unit, so super easy to paint right there. The outside portion is also to a plastic build once again, however it does remain rather neutral thanks to the fact it has a darker colour scheme. So no matter what colour your door is, what texture, what type of material it's made of, it should go along nicely with most coloured doors out there. But just like the inside portion, if you are willing to get a little bit on the DIY side, you could totally pull this thing apart and repaint it. However, you may go ahead and actually void the warranty right there. On the flip side of this particular device, there is some 3M tissue tape to go ahead and hold this guy against the door, and there's also to a rubber gasket to stop sort of dirt and debris getting inside this guy. So not only do you have that uh, sticky pad, but also too you've got some uh, gaskets to stop all that rain and dust and whatever else that may hit your front door from getting inside this guy. Overall, both these sides are plastic, but I wouldn't have any problems with them, and I'm not too fussed as I wouldn't really personally want a piece of metal hanging off the front of my door. It just seems a little bit stupid, so a bit of plastic is definitely okay. Now, even though they are made of plastic, they feel really, really sturdy, and whilst, again, I'm not the biggest fan of plastic, I definitely have to say they're not half bad built here. Now, taking a closer look at these two units inside the inside portion of this guy, we're getting ourselves a cover that takes off like so to go ahead and reveal the inside work of this guy, where we find ourselves a battery indicator and a status LED, and then also two four AA battery slots. Yep, this guy does run on battery rather than a fixed power source, so if your door doesn't offer a fixed power source, you should be pretty much okay to go. Then there's also two a little power switch, and overall that's kind of it on this particular side. If we do look underneath it, however, we do get the ribbon connector and also to the USB cable uh, connector for going ahead and doing any updates or anything like that to this particular unit. Now just touching on those batteries for just a moment. I've been using mine for about three to four weeks as of recording this video, probably a little bit more by the time this video goes up, and I've had no problems with them. They're still remaining green on the little status LED, so I have to say in terms of power consumption, it doesn't use a whole ton of power. So if you're worried about burning through batteries, I personally wouldn't be too worried there, but definitely pick up some rechargeable batteries as they're definitely a lot better than uh, going with disposable batteries. But flipping over, let's take a look at the outside unit of this particular guy, and it's a fairly simple affair here. We're looking at ourselves a camera capable of recording 480p video, whether that be in night mode or uh, in day mode, thanks to the fact that it has dual IR LEDs for about 3 meters of vision at night. And there's also to a motion sensor with the optical viewfinder coming in right under it, so you can still look through your peephole. So even though this guy will be mounted on the peephole, you can still look through it, thanks to the fact that it actually allows for a pass-through. Now there's also to a speaker here for yelling at the person that you do want to yell at on the other side of the door, and I have to say the quality is okay. It's not going to be winning any awards anytime soon, but hey, at least it works and you can give instructions to any delivery drivers or anyone who may be at your door if you're not home or just couldn't be bothered coming to your door. So in terms of the audio, this is what the audio from the device actually sounds like. It's not exactly half that bad, but definitely is a decent audio. You can talk to someone over this intercom system and it gets the job done. But overall, in terms of design, it's actually not half bad in its design department. But with that being said, let's jump into setting this guy up, and it was actually really, really straightforward. Sure, it may not be on something like the Drobo level of being super simple to set up, but it was still pretty simple to go ahead and do. You'll need to get everything that's inside the box and follow the simple instructions that they do offer. Everything that I needed except for a coin to actually take off the peephole and tighten this one up was available in the box. 
but most of us have a coin to go ahead and tighten up or a screwdriver will work just fine. Once this guy was connected to my door and I went ahead and connected up the Wi-Fi dongle like so to our router and got everything set up, it was actually a really nice experience. Now do note, if your wireless device already comes pre-configured, like mine for some reason already had a username and password on it, simply hold down the reset button for 10 seconds, boom, you're in and ready to set up your device. So that's just one thing you may want to keep in mind. For some reason, it may have a username and password already set that isn't written on the box. So maybe just reset it if you are having a few problems here. Once it was connected to my LAN connection, I could go ahead and use my smartphone app or my laptop to go ahead and finish the configuration steps. And overall, everything was super straightforward. There's no weird menus or anything that caught me out. Everything seemed pretty straightforward and ready to go. The only real thing that I didn't find straightforward was actually finding the IP address of this guy as it will take a dynamic IP address from your DHCP server or from your service on your router. So do keep that in mind that actually finding the IP address of this guy may be a little bit on the difficult side if you haven't pre-configured the app already. But if you've already configured the app, you should be pretty much ready to go. And once I'd set this up, it was pretty much set and forget other than the batteries that are there. The interface of the application was so simple to go ahead and use. It gave me all the basic controls that I needed for this guy. And if I needed to do anything more advanced, I simply just jumped in on the web browser, did my little configurations and I was ready to go. The one thing that I really do like about this particular guy is the fact that it can actually store photos and videos in the cloud locally or on a local NAS connection. So this guy also too features a micro SD card slot so you can throw in up to a 64 gigabyte unit, store up a whole bunch of snapshots, videos or whatever you want to store on this guy and you will be all good to go. Now for me having a server on board I was able to connect it up to my server and I was able to dump the photos and any sort of other snapshots into that guy. I really did like that and also to the fact that it has the web storage is also to another feature that I did like. However, on a security front, I'm personally not the biggest fan because the URL is basically just a generic URL, so it can be a bit easy to get into. But overall, if you are keeping storage locally, it's a really good solution. Once you go ahead and actually configure to go ahead and store videos from this little guy onto either the micro SD card, your NAS, or up on the web, you can actually set it to a loop mode so if that drive becomes full, it will just keep recording over, and it can actually act much like a CCTV camera on the front of your door. Now, if you are running a NAS again, it can work in exactly the same way and I really do like this particular feature. Again, the video footage isn't exactly going to end up on the cover of National Geographic's photo magazine, but they're definitely enough to catch someone drop kicking your parcels to the front door or someone trying to break in or something like that and it would be an absolute godsend in something like a police investigation when you need a picture of those people at the front of your door. So I really do like the fact that these guys are doing decent enough footage that you can definitely pull some images out of it. But again, once it's all set up, configured everything's ready to go, the only real thing you'll need to keep in mind is when the batteries go flat, it's pretty much set and forget there. On the plus side, if you have a door peephole, this thing is super simple to set up and I'd say it's no more than 5 minutes to actually install. The camera, whilst not being the highest end model, does definitely provide good quality video and would be perfect again for something like a police investigation or trying to catch someone who has damaged your property or something similar to that, or even just providing evidence to the shipping company that they damaged your parcel. It's also too extremely clean and very simple design makes it really nice to put on your door without attracting too much attention. Sure, it's going to be sitting there and people are definitely going to notice it, but it's not like putting a massive camera or something really flashy on the front of your door that may actually go ahead and get stolen. And finally, I love the fact that there's no cables needing to be run to this guy. If you don't have wires in your door or something like that, it's going to be super simple to set up, install and run because there's no need for any existing wiring. However, on the downside, because this guy does rely on a wireless network that does rely on a power source, if the power does go out, this camera will be basically worthless. Uh, the actual camera itself will keep on trying to transmit video, but if the actual receiver has no power and the router is down, it's not going to be working at all, basically voiding your security setup. So a UPS is definitely needed for the, both the router and the access point, making it actually usable when the power does go out. Batteries is also to another downside that some people may not be sort of thrilled to have. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of having a battery operate device because there's just one more thing I'm going to forget to change and then it's not going to work and then it's just going to be sitting there forever. But 
it can be a plus for some, as now you don't have to run any power. And finally, it's not a full replacement for a proper camera or alarm system. If you're thinking about getting this over a proper camera setup or a proper uh, alarm setup, this guy isn't a direct replacement for that. Sure, it provides actually decent enough video for IDing people, but you shouldn't really be considering this kind of device over a kind of camera system as well. But all in all, the price point of this guy does come in a little bit also too on the pricey side of 250 Australian dollars and may not be exactly something you're going to be running out and buy at the end of this video. But if you don't have any type of security setup, no cameras, no alarms or anything like that, the value of this guy is actually really, really awesome. $250 for a system that provides video and photos to a logged connection, whether that be a micro SD card or a NAS or even just to the cloud with remote connect in. There's actually a lot of benefits to having this guy, even though the price may be a little bit on the pricey side. Where the value does again come in is installing an alarm system System or a camera system is going to be way more than the price of even four of these guys. So you're definitely saving a lot of money if you don't have that kind of setup already by grabbing one of these little units. I'm definitely not exactly the biggest fan of these batteries inside this guy, but if you pick yourself up a couple of sets of rechargeable batteries, you can always have some on the charger ready to go in case these guys go flat, making for a super easy to use experience, which is definitely something that I did uh, end up using was just some rechargeable batteries, which were really, really nice to do. If you're already into security, this is definitely not going to be offering you as much value to you. However, if you are someone who has absolutely zero security set up at your house, having something as basic as this is definitely going to help you do a lot when it comes to securing your premises and also to, well, keeping things safe. Do keep in mind though that this is not a be all and end all security system. Again, if the power does go out, it's basically useless, so UPS is needed, and it may be a little bit on the pricey side for some. But definitely have to say, the positives do generally outweigh the negatives when it comes to this little smart guy. The fact that it's easy to install, easy to maintain, and ready to go at all times is something I personally do like. But let me know what you think down in that comment section. Do you like batteries in these types of devices, or would you prefer something that's a little bit more fixed line so you can just set it and and totally forget about it. Do let me know down in that comment section. If you want to pick up one of these guys or find out more, check that description box. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on down there. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.